WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a bit of a mixed bag out there. The mix is coming from the semis, which are trading down 23 points, about eight tenths of a percent. Otherwise, the other U.S. indices trading to the upside. Dow's up 192, or about six tenths. Eight tenths for the S&P, 33 points. One and six tenths for the Nasdaq 100, 205 points. There, the Russell is flat. Gold is off four bucks. Silver's down a penny. Lights recruit is up 12 cents. Natural gas is up a penny. And the 30-year Treasury down one point and nine ticks trade out of 13014. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini. The ES mini is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. That becomes resistance. That's at 4118 called 4119, the high of the day so far, 4115. So we know on a daily basis the ES mini is approaching resistance. And that's going to be important during the Trader's Edge show. We'll go take a look at the intraday charts, see if we see topping signals as a daily time frame is getting up to a resistance level. Now, the spot volatility is well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That is always a bullish signal for the S&P 500. The NQ is attempting to form a new profile. That new profile says things are bullish because this profile is above the prior profile, higher lows and a higher high. Nonetheless, there's trend line resistance right at the top of that daily profile, and it's up, that's up at the 13,199. Level. Now, I won't get confirmation on this profile until this evening, but it's been pretty solid. It's been holding all morning long. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index running a trend line resistance, consolidating with inside its profile, has support at the 100.95 level. That's the bottom of that daily profile. Gold and silver consolidating with inside their profiles, finding support at their bullish structured zones. In the case of gold, it's between 1974 and 1982. And No, that's, yeah, that's correct. No, 1974, 1980, yeah, that's correct. And with regard to the uh, uh, silver, it's between 2466 and 2487. If we take a look at lights, we crude. Most likely, this is going to go target the bottom of its weekly profile. And that's at 7277. Natural gas back below the bottom of its daily profile as well. It's still trading into its swing point from a trading session back on April the uh, 14th out there. It closed below 2.316 or 2.321, which suggests that perhaps natural gas is going to go back and test that low. With regard to the 30-year Treasury, she's back inside her profile levels with bullish structured support between 129.17 and 129.31. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. If you're off to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. Be safe out there. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care.